Hundreds of applicants. Fifteen contestants. And only one gaming millionaire. Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to round two of Gaming Millionaire. Now first off, I'd like to thank all of you for such a positive response to the first round. It was quite overwhelming, actually. And uh, for this round, we had 186 different people leave comments and, tr and tr try their hand at getting onto the show, but only one could prevail after all that. And he is here with me now, so please introduce yourself. Hello, everyone. My name is Exceeding Shadow, and I'm here. <laughs> you are here. Are you excited, nervous? Or? Mostly nervous, but I'm yeah. excited I'm on here. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so, do you, do you study hard at all? Or? Uh, yesterday I studied with a couple of my friends that was on Skype with me at the time when I got the message, and they just oh, helped sweet. me what they know because I don't know every single game, but hopefully I'm good. <laughs> you should be good. The first few questions should be pretty easy, at least. Hopefully. <laughs> all right. So, I guess without further ado, let's just get right into the meat of it here, and let's let's play Gaming Millionaire. Okay, so here we go with your first question. It will be... What is the direct sequel to Final Fantasy? Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, Final Fantasy 2, Final Fantasy Tactics, Final Fantasy Friendship is Magic. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. The direct sequel. The direct sequel. Hmm. The game that came right after Final Fantasy on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Okay, that that, that helps me a lot. Uh, <laughs> I, I look at the, the the last answer and it makes me laugh because I'm thinking about a TV <laughs> show. And knowing you, I think you know which one I'm thinking about. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna go with B, Final Fantasy two. Is that your final answer? Yes. Perfect. Good job. You got it for <laughs> your first point. All right. Off to a good start here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now your second question here. Oops, open the wrong window for a second. Okay. How many Pokemon were there in the first generation of the series? 100, 649, 150, 151. Oh god. Um I know it's the last two, but I you don't can always use one of your hints if you. I know. If I don't really know feel. if that one Pacific Pokemon counts, because but. If you can find it in the first in any of the first three games, red, blue, or yellow, then it should count. It should count. Okay, so I'm going with D. D151. Final answer. Yes. Perfect. Excellent. Well done. Yes, you count. I didn't know if it counts because I'm thinking about the theme song. 150. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So. Alright, here we go. Question number three. Which of the following is not one of the main three characters in the Legend of Zelda franchise? Zelda, Ganon, Link, Impa. D. Impa. That's correct. Well done. You didn't even have to think on that one. I know it did. It's like that's like one of the main three from every game. <laughs> yep. So, all right, doing good here. Question number four. Retro consoles are often defined by how many bits they can process. How many bits can the Super Nintendo Entertainment System process? Super Eight Nintendo. bits, sixteen bits, thirty-two bits, sixty-four bits. Uh, B, sixteen bits. Final answer? Yes. Perfect. You're doing good so far. So up to far. your last easy question coming up here. Okay. Feeling confident? That's sure. <laughs> oh, okay, man. so if you get this one right, then you will get one bonus point for not having used any hints on the on the easy round. Alright. Alright, here we go. Which of the following enemies does not appear in the original Super Mario Bros. for the NES? Bob bombs Bullet Bills, Goombas, Koopa Troopas. Let's see. Well, I know. See, not it appeared. Okay, so I know the the last two are in the original. Mm -hmm. But it's been a while I since so. I played the game. I don't remember if one of them. I'm, I'm thinking. 
that B is in it. I don't remember A. So I'm going uh, to go with A. You're going to go with A? Final answer? Yes. Good job. Okay, you made it through the easy round, my friend. You are doing well. So that puts you up to six points. You have a perfect game so far. So far. Okay. All right, and uh, we are going to take a short commercial break. So um, enjoy the audience question, and we'll be right back. And now for your audience question. Which of these games can be played on the console known as the Eek Player? Castlevania 2, Street Fighter, Super Mario 64, or Pinball? Find out the answer after the break. If you picked D, then I don't blame you because I wouldn't have known that the answer is C, Super Mario 64, either. And we're back, everyone! Welcome to round two, or round two of round two, I guess, of Game Millionaire. And, uh, we're about to move on to question number six. How do you feel? It's the first intermediate question. Um nervous just because uh the original like the easy ones were kind of easy except for like the final fantasy one i didn't know much about and i was trying to think of the last one number five so yeah I'm good but you made it through and uh now maybe who knows maybe the intermediate questions will be easier maybe you have more knowledge of those i know we'll see <laughs> all right so if you're ready here is question number six what is the name of the martial arts tournament in tekken the Mishima Zaibatsu Tournament, the Cobra Kai Tournament, the Akman Bandai Tournament, or the King of the Iron Fist Tournament? I want to go with the King of the Iron Fist Tournament. Make that your final answer? Yes. Well done. Well done. You are on fire. Thank God I read that. <laughs> I was oh, like, man. I reading that, so... Yep. So here's another witness account. That studying does pay off. So there you go. Oh, shoot. Sorry about that. I was oh, having a technical difficulty for a second there. But uh, here we go. Question number seven for this will be for your eighth point. Uh, bonus we got from last one, right? Yeah, you got the you got the bonus round from the first point. Okay. Yes. Bonus point from the first round. Sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. Question number seven. What is the subtitle of the second game of the Phoenix Wright series? Trials and Tribulations, Ace Attorney, Justice for All, Apollo Justice. any Phoenix Wright games? Uh, no, but I know everyone loves them. <laughs> I never played one. Always wanted to, but because there's so many, I just you know figured that it's a really good franchise. Yeah, it is a really good franchise, especially if you love puzzles and mysteries and everything. Okay, let me think about this in my head. So I don't remember anything 
in a in, sorry if you hear a dog or something <laughs> if you can say um i don't even remember that name whatsoever uh i don't remember d maybe it's because i don't play the games <laughs> but b and c i i know those ones feel familiar but okay. i'm uh i, I want to go with a hint you're gonna go with your hint yeah all right here we go i'll get that hint ready for you so your hint is Subtitle has no alliteration. Alliteration. So if you know what alliteration means, then... I believe... I don't remember what that was. Alliteration. That was a thing that kind of... I forgot about. <laughs> One of those little yeah. tidbits of knowledge that's not necessarily related to gaming, but... head I like I remember just briefly things about reading it and I it's like something to do with symbols or poetry or something <laughs> but second game huh second game I'm uh go with B. You want to go with B? Make yes. that a final answer then? Yes. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. The correct answer was C, Justice for All. And uh, alliteration, it means that um, the, the words in the sentence start with the same sound or letter. Oh, okay. That's what alliteration meant. Sorry, sorry if it took me a little while just to answer that. So I wanted to interrupt. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. I didn't expect. I don't. I, don't, I expect people to take time thinking of these questions. Yeah. I, I but was that unfortunately is going to have to be the end of your round. Yeah. So you made it up. You made it up high, and your last two points will go to. Be, to will contribute to your score as two more points. So that'll give you a total of nine points. Okay. So you didn't do too bad at all. <laughs> uh, All right. Well, thank you for joining me for this second round. Um, you made it pretty far, like halfway through, and uh, that's that's it. Thank you. Yes, thank you for joining me. And for everyone else who is watching, if you want a chance to be the contestant in round three, please leave a comment down below. It doesn't matter what the comment says, as long as you leave a comment, you will be counted in the draw. The comment must be posted by. 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday, uh, Wednesday October something I can't remember, but next one, this the Wednesday coming up. And um, also feel free to post any commercials or anything as video responses to this video. And we will see you all next time for round three of Gaming Millionaire. Out of the ten territories one seeks to expand, the Nightland, a mysterious place of pure darkness, threatens the lives of many. Join Ipri as he begins his journey as a mage, allowing him to see firsthand the devastation the Nightland has caused. Nightfall, first story of Nypri, now available in the Kindle Library. Search Amazon.com to download your free Kindle app for these devices. Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcome to episode 15 of Challenge Sunday. And today we'll be taking on this big penguin slide race thing in Super Mario 64.
And before I get started here, I feel the need to mention, since I totally forgot last time, um, down in the description below, along with all the other links, you should find a poll for Challenge Sunday. And at that poll, there will be five options for you to pick from for what you want to see for the next challenge of Challenge Sunday. I totally forgot to mention that last time, and as a result, only like 11 or so people found it. But 11 was enough votes to get this to win out of those five, so let's get into it. So this isn't going to be like beating the big penguin or the fastest time down the slide or anything. What it's going to be is how many coins, the, amount, the number of coins, the highest coin total that you get in the slide. Alright, and so um, the rules for this, there's really no rules. The only rule I can think of is that these five coins right here, you do need to get them because they're sort of just in the way. So you have to get those five coins before you enter the slide. And uh, whatever, it doesn't matter if you beat this guy or not, so who cares? As long as you are you get the max amount of coins that you can. So now, um, given the nature of this challenge, that there's only a finite amount of coins on this slide, uh, you stupid penguin, um, it, it's entirely possible that will result in a tie in this one. And in the, in the event of a tie, uh, the person who got it in the fastest time will win. And uh, that, you don't need to like time yourselves or anything. If it comes down to a tie, then I'll time it myself. And I'll be able to determine the win winner from that. But uh, here's my set time. That's 79 coins. Not set time, set amount. So you don't have to beat that amount. So you just have to beat everyone else who enters. So if you're the only one who enters, you will win. You broke my record! Oh, God, this penguin is so fucking fat. Holy cow, I still beat him. Look at that. And that's that. So I look forward to seeing your entries, and uh, congratulations to the winner of last week, too. Uh, of course, you're about to hear that audio clip anyways. Alright, bye. Congratulations to Sacromikes, who won last week's Challenge Sunday with a time of 18.96 seconds.